Thank you for staying here on News Desk. For the first time after 40 years of his dastardly killing on June 4, 1979, the children of the late Major General Odata Wellington organized a memorial to honor him. Well, as we build up to the second in our series of crimes that shook the nation, titled Scars of the Revolution, we'll tell you why his aide de camp, Captain Emmanuel, who retired, insists a more befitting memorial will be the military naming one of his institutions after him. The memorial started with a Thanksgiving service at the Osu Presbyterian Church, where friends, family, and former colleagues of the late general gathered. We are here today. The object of the gathering was made clear in a rather poetic way. He attacked himself properly as a general and marched with self power to battle. He was called by one of the military commanders. I'm happy to be that officer. This service was followed by a wreath laying ceremony at the military cemetery. Tribute after tribute, the virtues of the former army commander was brought to the fore. I make no apologies if reflect, reporting the facts of General Odate Wellington's courage and sense of duty does not sit well with certain groups. The past matters and history must be conserved. Former Ghana representative to Serbia, Dr. Nyahota Mako, crowned it. His dedication to work wise commander of the Ghana army push him to do unthinkable, leading his troops himself to quell a military uprising on June 4th, 1979, and he was killed in action. He always got his hands dirty and did tax many a time outside his scope. May you soon rest in perfect peace. Wajubang, ya yesu poko ami. Asafui amanche udate. For his aide de camp, Captain Retired Kwame Poku, a more befitting memorial will be naming the military installation after him. The period of letting sleeping dogs lie, and I dare say political correctness is long gone. General Dati Wellington deserves to have his name bestowed on one of the military institutions. The army was his life and he fought and died in his defense. with that report and as a build up to a second in the series of crimes that shook the nation this time to expect scars of the revolution coming up in business shortly the ministry of food and agriculture targets production of some 65,000 metric tons of poultry meat in first year of the Raring for food and jobs initiative Daryl Kwao has more to stay <laughs> 